I hate to even ask this, but have either of you ever done anything unscrupulous? What was it? Have you ever done anything unscrupulous? Have you ever done anything wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. Next. Never. Next question. Next. Thank you. Are you familiar with what's going on with New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez? Yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you believe him when he says that he had nearly half a million dollars in cash and gold bars in his house because his family is Cuban and needed to be, and so he needed to be ready for anything emotionally? I mean, are you Cuban? No, I'm not. Well, yeah. You don't know. It's true. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know, man. You don't know when you need a gold bar. <laughs> You're right. Do you? You're right. Yeah. No, I'm li- I'm listening. I'm learning. There's, I'm that, receiving it. Yeah, I'm receiving it. it. Listen to it and leave it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm receiving it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Porque esa es la cosa. ¿Que hablas español o no? Porque hablo perfectamente español. ¿Hay, hay alguien aquí que habla español? Y esa es la... Ok, per, dos personas. Perfecto. Pensaba que estaba en eso. Ok, here's the thing. So until you know, you don't know. Yeah. And no, I'm not saying I, I've lived a Cuban experience I, either. <laughs> Zach's not Cuban. I'm not He speaks Cuban. Spanish. I speak Spanish. I was in a dual language program. Yeah, I That's look it. like I should speak Spanish. <laughs> I look like I should speak Spanish, and I don't. And he doesn't, but you do, and you look like you shouldn't. No. <laughs> I look like I learned it a bad way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he learned the bad man he Spanish. Learned it, yeah. He learned it the bad way. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time for a game inspired by Senator Menendez that we're calling an innocent explanation. Sure. Here's how it works. I'm going to give you an actual political scandal, and you need to give us, each of you, an innocent explanation for what happened. We will alternate. You will each get a chance. The person whose explanation is the most plausible and heartfelt will get the point. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and might I say, the crowd looks beautiful tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Each and every single one of you, Cuban or not, I yeah. love you guys. He's working the refs. He's... Con todo mi corazón. Oh, oh my! <laughs> He's just trying to get those two. Yeah. The rest of you that speak in English, you're with me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, this is America. Speaking two languages is usually hated. Donc je peux parler en autre possible. Oh my God! No. What's happening? All I'm saying oh, is God. just don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. <laughs> He learned French, French from a bad man, too. Yeah. But he was like more of a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That sounded like he was a French person speaking English for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's another language in a sense. Yeah. In a sense and in uh, innocence and in an explanation. Let's get into it. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an amazing... The old brain <laughs> clocked out for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. I'm going to need an innocent explanation for why you have $480,000 in cash and gold bars hidden inside your home. Zach, you're going to go first. You have 30 seconds. Why do you have it in your home? What's the innocent, plausible, sweet explanation? Okay, <laughs> riddle me this, jokester. You go to the bank. You, fr- you have a pin. You don't know how many people know this pin. You don't know who has access to your money. You don't even know if it's if it exists there. From what I understand of the environment, well, I meant to say economy is nothing. <laughs> it's kind of like the environment of our world. Let's drop in. Let's think about it. <laughs> but if it's in your house, well, you don't have to remember a pin. You just got to remember where you put it. And pretty good start. It's in your house. <laughs> and if you want, you can make it so that only you and your other, the ones, the lived ones living in there... Uh-huh. Lived yeah. in ones. No, who, talk about the lived ones. Yeah, the lived ones. <laughs> it could be about the lived ones who are there. Yeah. <laughs> not the ones who are asleep. <laughs> Wake up, leave it or love where I don't even know where to look. <laughs> Looking down the barrel of the camera. Get ready. <laughs> but basically, what I'm saying is, no, I don't think he did it. <laughs> Wait, that's not the question. Eugene, Eugene, why do you have... Th- yeah, cheer yourself. That's good. What? Zach, <laughs> what? What? Zach, Zach. Oh, my God. It's crazy what's <laughs> happening. The people shouting, Zach. Eugene, you have $500,000 in yeah. cash and gold bars. Why? Why not? Well, you want to have people come over to your house, right? Mm-hmm. You want them to have a little fun experience, right? It's yeah. like a, it's like a um, escape room in your home. It's like having an Indiana Jones party. All the time, where they're like, hey, is there something behind this fake wall? It's like, yeah, gold bars, asshole. And then all of a sudden you have them there. Oh, what's behind that 
that um that weird painting. Oh, just a stack full of money. And that you is have cool. it all in your house and you and you can play with it whenever you feel like it. You can Scrooge McDuck your life. You can you can have a vault that you can swim in. That's why you have it in your house. You it's nice to know how much money you have. Yeah, it is if nice. If you to have know. that much money. If you have five hundred thousand dollars. It's nice to know you have it, and you can look at it, and you can touch it in gold bars. I, I just want to talk about the bars. Yeah. Who gets to have those? I want those in my house. Get to like bop people on the side of the head with them. No, no, I don't want no violence with the bars. Hey, and we're not. And look, yeah, and that's so important. Oh, you know what I'd want to set up? Have you seen it? It's like a um, it's a game that they play where it's like a plastic box that has a hole in it, and you're trying to pull the gold bar out of it. They have it in like... Sounds like some sort of anti-Semitic cartoon. <laughs> but, you know what? Wow. It Are is. you thinking about... Yeah, 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 I, think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're not thinking of a game. I think you're thinking of an anti-Semitic cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about those all the time. And, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, as a bisexual Jew, I am feeling attacked today. <laughs> and because I'm the only guy who speaks Spanish? <laughs> okay, I thought that would get a way better reaction than that. <sighs> I'm no. going to give the point on the first round. It's close. Okay. It's really close. But it is going to Eugene... Uh, because he brought up Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> and that was actually our secret word of the day. <laughs> what do you get, a gold bar? You get one, one gold bar, <laughs> but we put them in a basket on Halloween, and it's, it's, it's sort of honor system. Oh, okay. So, so, so you just take one as you leave, but one. take one. But sometimes you, some, you know, there's you look and it's there. You look and it's there. You come back an hour later, it's all gone because one fucking kid took all the gold God. bars. Why are you looking all at me like gold. I did it? It would be you. This is an anti-Semitic thing. No, <laughs> it is. It's yes. a it's a Spanish speaking. Okay, thing. sorry. And I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I love about Scrooge McDuck, thank you for asking, <laughs> is that really only he was good at swimming in the gold. Other people would jump in and try to swim in the gold, and they would just land flat. Because in the kind of psychic universe of DuckTales, he deserves the money. <laughs> and he's good with it and gets it, and it loves him back. Other people try to dive in the gold, and they can't. Because they don't know how to swim in gold, because they're not meant to be rich. Scrooge McDuck is fucking meant to be rich. God, you're so right. Something to think about. Can I tell you when I was a kid, I tried to get a bunch of pennies in my mouth and lay my back and tried to spit them oh, out like it was. Oh, did like it work? It would be water like he and would it, back, backstroke in yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's how comfortable he was. He could literally gargle and spit the gold. Yeah, he spit money out and it looked like water. How'd it go for you? No, not good. It, it like trickled out and then it tasted weird. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And, and uh, sorry to dwell on this because it is... Obviously, incredibly time time. It's very relevant. <laughs> Glomgold, the other, the the bad rich person. Yes. Why was he worse? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no reason. Yeah. There's just no reason. He He's didn't just have nephews. Worse. Yeah. yeah. He just didn't, he, have he didn't like his nephews. Yeah. Yeah. Gl fucking Glomgold. <laughs> Hay alguien aquí que entiende lo que están diciendo porque no entiendo nada. <laughs> but it's great to be here. <laughs> Follow up. I'm going to need an innocent explanation for why you Googled how much is a kilo of gold worth the day after you got back from a trip in the car of the person uh, accused of being part of the bribery scam. Eugene, you're going to start. You're in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. You're Googling how much is a kilo of gold worth. Why? Because that's the question you'll always have in your head. And, and there's never going to be a wrong time to get the answer. There's never a time that you shouldn't learn information, even if it's late, right? right? So if, let's say, my wife cheated on me, she already did it, let's say. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's not a real, this is a hypothetical, I hope. Um, <laughs> but if she did the day after, I would probably still Google the guy, even though it doesn't matter anymore, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I think because we're not, she already all, we're did not it. all kind of more kind of sitting in this example. <laughs> oh, God. Got it. It's a hard one. Yeah, I'm like, let's, say, let's say it's a plastic box and you can reach your hand in it. <laughs> yeah, let's say there's like a puppeteer. And like <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think it's like, you know, there's questions that you just like pop into your head at the wrong time. And you know what? You need to hear those answers. If it's the day after you have gold bar, they find out there's gold bars in your house, you still want to know how much it's worth. You can, you'll want to know what a gold bar is worth 
if you got it legally. Yeah. Because a gold bar is a gold bar. You I'm know? not going to lie to you. Before I drive away safely, I am going to Google it in my car. Yeah. Because I am curious of how much a gold bar is worth. Hmm. Do you? What would your guess be? Um, one McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. It is. Yeah. If you're measuring it in McDucks, it's a, it's it's a, single, a single McDuck. McDuck. <laughs> it's a McDuck now currently with the exchange rate. Yeah. But they get you. They get you. Don't don't exchange your McDuck at the airport. No. <laughs> don't don't do it at the airport. Oh, they, get you they, get you, they get you every time. Yeah. Don't yeah. wait in that line. That's where they get you. Especially when not arriving is one thing, but the one when you're leaving, no. No, no, no. Because no. they know, they know, they know they gotcha. It's like uh, at Vegas, they don't show any of the clocks and they pump funny gas into the airport so that you just, you never know where your flights are going or what yeah, time no, it is. Las Vegas poisons no the pilots. Okay, <laughs> Famous. <laughs> but. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys. You know that, right? <laughs> you know that we can fucking see yeah, you. It, it's terrifying, you know? I want to be hilarious, but I don't know 90% of what's been said so far. And so the whole time I've been sitting here going, do I tell them? Do I go, oh, yeah, M -S -M Scrooge. <laughs> I, I could have gotten past that and you guys would have never known, but you know what? I'm an honest guy. Aww. And I just want to say, um, oh God, that's when I was hoping something really funny would have come out, yeah. you know? <laughs> but it's nice to launch yourself off sometimes. Knowing that a room full of 900 people are going to catch you. <laughs> Next I was question. Say, point, I was a point to Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he got that. that yeah, yeah, we yeah. know why he earned that, he earned that yeah. point. He earned that point. I feel so nervous. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Woo. Hey, right. hey. You're doing great. Yeah. The 900 love you. Yeah. I've, oh, hey, God. there could the, be, be 899 people in a room <laughs> that don't get it. But one person in that 900 people does. Yeah. And that's what Lady Gaga said about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we're going to need an instant explanation for why you were allegedly collecting unemployment while making $120,000 a year for an investment firm that turned out to be a Ponzi scheme. Zach, you're going to kick us kick us off. Yeah. Well, first off, I just would like to go on behalf of the Ponzi schemes and say, you know, a lot of people talk about the way that I conduct business as if I run some sort of pyramid scheme. But I like to think of it more of like a premium triangle um, <laughs> with different levels of different layers and, and, and whatnot. But why would you need unemployment? <laughs> Dude, the government's dumb. You got to get your money where you can. <laughs> Sounds like this guy was running a Ponzi scheme. So he's going to be out of money pretty soon when they find out. So it's you know, nice to just make sure he can cover his bases and get his groceries and, you know, um, whatever else people do with money. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what people do with money. Of course, you know, they buy gold. They swim in with pennies in their mouths. <laughs> They're Spanish. It's all the stuff. It's all the stuff. That's it's all the all thing. Being is. Things people do with money. Be Spanish. Uh, <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> Eugene, over to you. You're doing a Ponzi scheme while making $120,000 and collecting unemployment. Sure. Um, uh, I'm collecting unemployment because you don't know if other people are going to jump on board to your Ponzi scheme. So as people are making their decisions, you're technically not working. So you're unemployed. Yeah. Once they say, okay, I want to be part of your scheme, and you're not going to call it your scheme. You're going to call it your business. But Smart. once people, Hey, by the way. Fucking, you almost fell in one of the huge pitfalls <laughs> yeah. that fucks up a lot of Ponzi schemes at the I'll job. I'll be honest. They call it a scheme. They, I, yeah, but I, that's a mistake people make. So that was I, smart. I've been involved in a couple and have gotten fired from them because I go, hey, guys, are you part of the scheme or not? <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they're like, what did you say? And I'm like, oh. And then I collect unemployment because nobody took the bait. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's like fishing. You're not fishing when you're just out there. You only are fishing once you caught a fish. <laughs> the rest of the time, you're just on a boat. Wow, that? Yeah. <laughs> so are you yourself. just on a boat right now, or did you catch fish? Because if you caught a fish, you're fishing. If you're just not, then you're just on a boat today. Wow, that's, um, I have to say, one of the saddest ways of thinking about life itself that I've <laughs> literally ever heard. Like, I would say that like one of the most important things about life is coming to realize that you really were fishing the whole time, or is that wrong? Turns out only the moments when there was a tug on the on the rod. That's it. The rest <laughs> of the time was just nothing. Yeah, 
<laughs> Chug, we're chugging on Chug rods now. Can I, <laughs> also, can I give Eugene the points for that one? That was a miraculous anecdote we were just dropped, and I feel like all 900 of you are not appreciating yeah. this. <laughs> Well, yeah. they're questioning their own lives right now because yeah. everybody thought they were fishing this whole time. <laughs> but they weren't. No, no, no. Just sitting in the boat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Waiting for a little tug. <laughs> for giving us a lot to think about, the point goes to Eugene. Thank you. I'm going to do one more. This, you guys are tied. Yeah. No, nah, it's 2 1. You guys are tied 2 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> and I. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I love math. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those two to one ties. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need an innocent explanation for why you burned so many government documents in your fireplace. Your suits smelled of smoke. Eugene, we're gonna start with you. Um, well, uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money on electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. You want to spend your money on things that you want, which is not you're like you need electricity, but you don't want to spend the money on it. Right. You're like you need gas to drive your car, but you don't want to spend the money on gas. So if you can burn some documents, burn documents and keep your house heated. Right. Yeah, that's two birds. Now, if a, if a suit smells like smoke, it's like. Back in the day, didn't all suits smell like smoke? Everybody, Everybody smelled like smoked. smoke. Everybody Everybody just sat in lounges with suits on. You can get in an airplane and smoke and wear a suit. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. classic it. stuff. Yeah. It's classic. It's, it's classic, classic and classy. Classy, classic Vegas stuff right there. <laughs> Not too long ago, adults would put on ex their nicest, most uncomfortable clothes Get into a plane that crashed 15% of the time. <laughs> Smoke cigarettes the whole way yeah. with a suitcase that had no wheels. <laughs> and now we say to each other, man, remember how cool things used to be? No. <laughs> no. That sucks. They didn't put wheels on the suitcase until I was an adult. <laughs> I, I saw on a TikTok the other day on Amazon, they have new scooter suitcases that turn into scooters so you could scoot through the airport. I'll <gasps> tell you, I, I got one of those from my daughter <sighs> and we threw it away. Really? Because she fucking took off. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, oh, Jesus. Hey, hey. We had to chase her down the airport. It was brutal. <laughs> it's amazing that the problem is it's not that it doesn't work, it's that it works too good. It works yeah. too. She got Zero. so excited, she was just like waving back at us we're like, no! <laughs> You're like on Amazon, like, five out of five stars, help me find my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Last scene, Terminal 4. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, over to you. Um, why am I burning government documents? Uh, because I got the CDs and I'm trying to see what they're listening to. So, I'm. that's right. I took it in a different way, guys. And I didn't mean to, but it is a hurricane up here. <laughs> <laughs> or a him cane. Uh, and so I... I <laughs> Man, this is the best crowd I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you got 900 strong, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, I got the Tony Hawk audience out here tonight. <laughs> Oh man, and we're all just spinning. No, I, 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 I was gonna go with something about burning it, uh, the documents, like burning them. At first, I thought you meant literally burning them onto a CD, and then I was like, oh, you mean like some sabotage? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Destruction. Yeah, yeah. Some sabotage. You know, a little bit of you know, like sorry, we're gonna do some of this stuff. Stuff. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's how the people in the government talk. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 Wake up, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Por favor, despiértate. <laughs> And then they smell like smoke because they're smoking because they're ballers. <laughs> they're like, yo, they're I cool. got all of this government junk on my CDs right now. Let me light up. And that could be a spliff, a cig, uh, a joint, or a cigar. And I think that's about all you can smoke. <laughs> or a vape. And, uh, you know, you can. And you can. Yeah. And, and, you know, as the sun sets on my time on this show right now... Um, <laughs> And the opportunity to come back anytime again. You know, I just want to say it's been lovely to be here. <laughs> I've really felt like the Bob Byrne quest to your Tony Hawks, everyone. And it looks like there's less skaters than Spanish speakers. <laughs> Mierda. <laughs> I could just sit here all night. I'm having a great time. This is so fun. <laughs> I, I'm going to give the point to Zach because smoking is cool. It is cool. 
And people love smoking, smoking cigars, smoking joints, smoking cigarettes. And they love it while burning documents onto CDs <laughs> in a fireplace. <laughs> it does, yeah, yeah. It, it, so, sometimes I'm like, why is everyone, why did I lose everyone there? And then I hear you say that back and I'm like, well, what do you possibly do with that? <laughs> you know, like I gave you that answer. I, and I was like, oh, it's weird. Why is he talking about burning hey. CDs? <laughs> uh, you won the point, by the way. And I got to say, it is a remarkable to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I love the community. <laughs> Zach and Eugene, this was, <laughs> I love the community. Zach and Eugene, this was so much fun. Eugene's going to be in L***y season two. Yeah. L***y rules. Yeah. Yeah. And to see Zach, check out stamptowncomedy.com. You can see it on a sweatshirt. Stamptowncomedy.com I, uh, to catch their next shows. I apologize. I am wearing my own merch. I have just, uh, I have a, a lot to sell. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really all I've got so far. So, you know, if you want to chat afterwards, uh, just send us a little Venmo or something. Um, but really make sure to see Eugene in he really needs the views right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, they're just like these are just two side by side projects, uh, <laughs> and the Stamp Town sweatshirts. Just two things that LA is pumping out right now yeah. that we're really excited about. This is actually made in the UK, so it's actually called a jumper. Wow, bloody brilliant, mate. <laughs> Eugene has won the game. When we come back, <laughs> nature calls, and we're sending her a voicemail. 